The most famous example of Victor Fleming going to severe lengths to extract a performance out of someone is on The Wizard of Oz when Judy Garland was shooting the Yellow Brick Road sequence with the Tin Man, the Lion, and the Scarecrow, and they were cracking her up. She got the giggles, she couldn't stop. Victor Fleming walked down, looked at her, and slapped her in the face and said, now, behave. You're a very bad man. Victor felt terrible about that and was berating himself for doing it. Shame on you! Judy Garland came up to Victor afterwards and said, I won't bop you on the nose for doing that, I'll kiss you on the nose. 30 years later, Judy Garland would still tell stories about how much she admired him, and I think he functioned in her dynamic as a father figure because he was disciplining her. Well, I'm glad to see you're not really hurt. Oh, but I am, Doctor. Really? Really? Maybe I better send you to the hospital, huh? No. Oh, look. Here. Feel. Feel. Where, here? Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just as I thought. Cirrhosis pectoris. Uh, what's that mean? That means your eyes are twin pools of desire. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde started in a very ironic way for Victor Fleming because Selznick uh, wanted Bergman to work with Fleming. Selznick knew that Fleming had this talent for bringing new things out of actresses, even if, like Vivian Leigh, they didn't realize he was doing it. Bergman fell in love with Fleming immediately. She said she could look at his eyes and she could know exactly uh, whether he was pleased or displeased or enraged or frustrated, but also what emotion he wanted to get out of her. He was the quintessential film director. You can look at a Fleming film, not know it's a Fleming film, and you can see his work there. You can see the way shots are framed and lit, the way characters are either brought together or kept apart that are pure Victor Fleming. I wish I never saw you. If you look at his work, you can't help but feel like he was a humanist. I love you, Scarlett. In spite of you and me and the whole silly world going to pieces around us, I love you. The work is so varied but there's this kind of core emotion to all of the movies. I think he found the heart, the beating heart inside of every movie, and that's what comes through in these films. Oh, Annie M, there's no place like home. As long as his films stay with us, his legacy is alive. At a point.